Hi, I'm Dr. Suvarshla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Ziva Fertility is conducting a free camp for patients suffering from infertility. We are conducting this camp in the month of May on every Saturday at Kompalli, Sanatnagar, Banjara Hills and Manikonda. Included in this camp are free registration, consultation, counseling and semen analysis. Subsequent treatment options will also be uh, suggested to you and you can avail this opportunity. Hi, I am Dr. Suvarshla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. When we are performing IUI and when we suggest IUI to a patient, the first question that they ask us is, uh, what is the right number of sperms that are required for a better chance of success with IUI? So we'll try to understand the very same question today. Now to understand IUI, you need to understand the procedure first. The ovaries are first stimulated to produce eggs. So we're not looking at too many eggs. We're probably looking at one or two eggs, but never more than three because we don't want the chance of multiple pregnancies to increase with IUI. So these medications could be clomiphene citrate, clomiphene citrate with follicle stimulating hormone or just follicle stimulating hormone injections. So there are many different protocols and these can be followed to uh, increase uh, the size of the egg. Then what is required is to be able to inject sperms inside the uterus at the right time when the egg has ovulated from the ovaries and is inside the tube. But we do not just put back the semen directly inside the uterus because that could be harmful and will definitely lead to infections. What is basically done is that sperms are washed. Now sperms wash, uh, wash does not mean that we wash the sperms with the with fluid or some solution. It's actually sperm preparation techniques. Basically these techniques uh, involve the separation of sperms from semen, which is made up of seminal plasma, which is made up of a lot of nutrients that are required for the sperms to be able to attain motility and have a proper uh, functionality. So the basic idea of sperm preparation is to separate all of these uh, particles from the seminal plasma, seminal plasma itself, dead sperms, uh, WBCs, RBCs if present, everything and just take a bolus of these highly motile sperms and transfer it into the uterus. At this stage, after the preparation of sperms, what we are looking at is total motile sperm count. That is what is important. Functionally motile. Though we are not just looking at the number, we are also looking at just the number which are motile as well, which is exactly what is going to be functional, isn't it? The ones that are dead or not moving are not the ones we should be talking about at all. When these sperms are put back into the uterus, the chance of success increases. Now let's look at what studies say. Studies say that in women where different protocols were followed and uh, then examined which, which protocol was the best. There were uh, clomiphene citrate only protocols, clomiphene citrate with FSH injections given or just FSH injections given. The ones where patients did the best and had the best success rate was where FSH alone was given and then was FSH was clomiphene citrate. However, your fertility specialist will be the best to decide which protocol will work best for you. Also, the success rate of IUI depends on, like any other treatment protocol, on the age of the women because the higher the age, once the age crosses 30-35, the chromosomal abnormalities inside the egg also increase. And likewise, in IUI also, the same eggs are being grown, therefore the success rate comes down. When they are under 30, the chance of success in good protocols, in, in good uh, study pools have, has gone to 18% when women were 30 years or younger. So this is very critical. What protocol is used and what age is IUI done? Of course, the number of cycles had no effect on your success rate. Whether you did one or six, your success rate depends only on the factors that I have stated and does not seem to increase cumulatively. Now, the most important factor and the question for today, how many sperms are enough? Now, a large cohort study has found that 9 million sperms are what are critical for IUI success. Anything above 9 million is what will give you a good chance of success. Now, 9 could become 18 or 20 or 146, it does not matter. The critical the statistical number that is required for a good success of IUI is 9 million. And this is from good statistical evidence. Of course, 
this has to have good motility as well we're talking about tmc total motile sperm count so 9 million is what we are looking at if you want to understand what your success rate based on your ovulatory pattern based on your age based on your partner's sperm count you want to understand where your success rate falls please feel free to contact us thank you we strive very hard to make these informative videos for you please encourage us by subscribing and liking our videos thank you